okay so in the last class like you know the master data thing uh vendor creation we have seen and middle master creation product master extension also we have seen okay so today i uh, will go for the testing okay we'll create the po we'll create the inbound delivery okay we'll process this inbound delivery okay let me share my screen so what is our material uh, the material is 5445 this is the material we have created we have extended okay various data slotting and storage type and what is our supplier supplier vendor creation so 200374 we have created okay simple inbound So simple inbound process. So the first step is so this is like you know we called as a testing of inbound process. First step create. purchase order okay so the t code is me21n then after that create inbound delivery again is to po this po purchase order okay so this is in vl31n so this creation of the purchase order creation of the inbound delivery both are in s4 side okay so this is like you know i'm going to write s4 okay this is also s4 then so once you create the inbound delivery it will distribute to ewm once inbound delivery save it will be distributed ewm okay so once it is distributed to ewm now we are going to process in ewm okay process ibd i'll write ibd ibd means inbound delivery in ewm side so in which transaction we are going to process slash and slash scwm slash P R D I. Okay, so here we are going to do it. So yes, process. We are going to process the inbound delivery. Process means what? We are going to unload first, unloading. Then after that, goods receipt. Then finally, put away. task creation and we are going to confirm task creation so these are the steps so these all are in ewm okay so ewm so this is what we are going to do okay so first we'll create the purchase order okay so to create the purchase order we have to have the vendor and we have to have the uh, product middle master also okay so let me go to the system
M E twenty one N. Okay. So supplier we have to enter. So what is the supplier? H D W. This is the supplier. Two double zero three seven four. Okay. Just input the supplier number and enter. Okay. So now it is asking to enter the purchasing organization, purchasing group, company code. So what is our purchasing organization? HD PO. This is our purchasing organization. HD PO. Right. Purchasing group 001. What is our company code? HPDA, I think. Yeah, HPDA. Let's check once again. Mm, HPDA, right. Okay. HPDA. And what is the middle master we have created? Middle master is five double four five okay five double four five so i'm going to take po quantity as 100 enter okay now system is asking to enter the plant so in which plant i want to bring h hdbp right hdbp so in HTBP, what is the store location? ROD. Define a chart of accounts for first company code H HPDA. OBY6. Okay. HTPO HPDA is our company code and the plant HTBP and store location ROD we are taking. Okay. Now go to confirmation control key. Here you have to give the confirmation control key to create the inbound delivery. To create the inbound delivery, confirmation control key is a mandatory thing. Okay. So without that, we cannot move forward. Okay. So this is the mandatory field to create the inbound delivery in the PO. Confirmation control key is a mandatory. Okay. So you have to give the confirmation control key. So it is asking for the net price. That's fine. So can delivery date be met? It is asking. So I'll take 11. That's fine. Enter. I repeat once again, what are the things are given? You have to give supplier. Then you have to input purchasing organization. You have to input the purchasing group. You have to input company code. Okay. After that, you have to input the material. So this is the material I want to buy from this particular supplier. How much quantity? 100 quantity. Okay. So net price I also am giving over here. So first time I have to give, the next time system will take automatically. Then I have to enter the plant and store location. Okay. So the description system is showing HTBP and R word is the store location I have entered. So after this, go to item details. In the item details, go to confirmation tab. 
you have to input the confirmation control key as 004 so that it will be enabled to create the inbound delivery. If you do not give this confirmation control key while creating the inbound delivery, system won't accept to create. Okay, system is going to throw the error. This is the confirmation control key is a mandatory in patch order. Okay, so just you save it. So system created one PO number. This is the PO number. So I will note it down here. What are the input I have given? Okay. Input supplier number purchase organization okay so what is the supply number we have given two double zero three seven four double zero three seven four and purchase organization is HDPO. Then purchasing purchasing group zero zero one we are given company code is HPDA. Okay, then input material 5445 is a material then quantity 100 then plant we are given hdbp okay and storage location rod confirmation control key So these are the input we have given and we have created one purchase order PO. This is the PO. So against to this PO, we have to create the inbound delivery now. Okay. So create inbound delivery against to the PO. So what is the T code? VL31N. Okay. Two six double zero. So what is the T code? VL thirty one N. So this is the supplier two double zero three seven four and purchase order is four five or double zero double zero two six double zero. Okay, just enter. So your screen will be looks like this. Here, this is the material. This is the quantity. That's fine. Okay, now just move a little bit right side. Okay, check. This is the plan. This is the store location. HDBP and R word is the store location. Okay. So just save it. Assign goods using pine to. Assign goods using pine to inbound delivery. So someone config is missing. So this you have to complete. I think we haven't completed. Assign goods receipt point for inbound deliveries. Okay. So new entry plant is HDBP. Store location is ROD. And shipping point is HTSP. HTSP, right. And same way for HDBP, AFS, HDSP. Enter, save it. Okay, so this step just on writing over here
असाइन गुड्स रिसीव पॉइंट फॉर इनबोर्डल okay so what you what have done here for my plant ht bp in store location afs and rod i have assigned shipping point okay so let me copy this so once it is done come back now try to save now okay just i'm trying to save now okay let me let me go back once again enter vl31n Enter. Select the item. Save it. Okay. So it is saying inbound delivery one eight triple zero two four two three was saved and distributed to WMS. So what it is saying inbound delivery was saved and distributed to WMS. Okay. So this is the inbound delivery. So now my question is, it is saying distributed to WMS. With what parameters system distributed this particular delivery? Okay. So what with what parameters? Three parameters. System distributed inbound delivery from S4, S4 to EWM. Okay. So how system distributed? This is the question. This is the interview question. If any inbound delivery or outbound delivery is created, pardon? Uh -uh. Yes, yeah, you are saying something. Okay. Sorry, I just I just joined now. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, so system distributed the inbound delivery from S4 to EWM. Then the interview question is how system distributed this inbound delivery from S4 to EWM. So there are three points you have to answer. Okay, what are the three points? The first point is plant and storage location assigned to warehouse number so the hdbp rod is assigned to our warehouse car hdw so that configuration is there okay so that is one prerequisite so with this entry only it will distribute no there are three factors other this is one number two set up rfc connections so the rfc connections logical system assigned to client okay set up rfc destination ewm linkage these all things you know rfc connection related things needs to be in a place so that is we call as a set up rfc connection then third one is distribution model distribution model so do you remember in bd64 okay we have seen the display of distribution model after that we had generated for our warehouse so that distribution model should be generated to our warehouse okay so if these three things are there system will allow to distribute the delivery from s4 to ew so what are the three points plant and store location should be assigned to warehouse number we have to have the setup of rfc connection 
and uh, we have to have the generated distribution model. Okay, so these are the three requests. Now, this particular delivery is got distributed. So we have to process in the EWM side. Okay. So how we are going to process in the EWM side? So this is the transaction slash and slash SCWM slash TRDI is the transaction. Okay, slash n slash scwm slash prdi. This is the transaction. Okay, so your screen will look like this. Okay, first of all, you have to check what are the default values. So, is it our various number? No, our various is htew. So first check your default various number, HDW, that's fine. Now here we have the inputs, inbound delivery. You can go with the advanced shipping notification, logistic execution delivery, manufacturing order, purchase order. These are the inputs. So the inbound delivery of S4, logistic execution means it's a ERP delivery number. So in earlier time, in earlier days, like, you know, before this S4, we had two servers. So the ERP delivery number and EWM delivery number are different. Okay, then that time you have to go with this is the ERP delivery number, this is the ERP delivery number, this is the EWM delivery number. But for our system S4, are taken S4 and EWM, both delivery numbers are same. Okay, so even if you take this one or this one, that is fine. An advanced shipping notification means this is the ASN. The vendor is going to send when he is ready to send the material. Okay. So through suppose assume like vendor is also having SAP. If he's sending this information through ASN to hit our system and create the inbound delivery, they'll send ASN. And we can go through from the purchaser roles. Okay. I'll go with inbound delivery, input and execute. So system is saying no documents found means this particular delivery is distributed, but it is not come to EWM. So it is stuck somewhere. I told you, I intentionally haven't given one configuration. Okay. Because let this particular delivery stuck in the queue. I want to show you how to process that queue. Okay. Now. So this is your real time in our support project. You are going to monitor the queues. Assume your delivery is not in EWM. Okay. Then check for stuck queues. Okay. So how to check? So to check the inbound queues so in ewm we are going to check inbound queues okay the t code is smq2 okay how we are going to check i'm going to check with this inbound number okay smq2 so client is 100 Put Q name is star executed. Okay, you have two not three queues are there 99. So to find our hours, okay, so just click on the find button here. This is the find button and input your delivery, okay, and click on yes. So this is the delivery got stuck, okay. Double click over here, so it is going to take to here. So you can put, you can see with you know a red symbol over this is the one selected 2423. Okay, so this is the failed queue. So, what is the reason? I want to know. Okay, just click on the queue name. So, here the error is there. So, double click on the status text. 
could not create header data delivery 018002022423 system ecs yes for error during material does not exist cannot create cannot create delivery so if you read the last line item could not determine ewm stack data for store or location hdbp rod so this is the one we haven't created so we haven't map we haven't map the store or location to ewm okay so that's the reason system could not able to determine the ewm stack data so what is the step we have we forgot to you know maintain intentionally we didn't do that okay so let me show you that do you remember this step map store location from erp to ewm this is the one we skipped okay so how to complete this okay let me take this error first search with so what is the error this is the error could not determine the relevant stack data first or like hdp so what is this solution so what is the solution you are going to take so you are going to maintain the map store location from erp to ewm this is the one okay so how to complete this okay spro so that step i am completing spro or reference img scm extended whereas management extended whereas management go to interfaces okay go to erp integration go to goods movements okay map store location from erp system to ewm okay okay click on new entries So what is my plant? HTBP ROD. So this is the logical system. Where else is HTW? HTW, sorry, HTW. Availability group for ROD zero zero one. HTBP for AFS. The DS for seventy one hundred. HTW. Availability group zero zero two. So it is going to determine the stack type here F two here F one. Okay, this tent. So system has taken the party and road is first by default. So this is the entry R O D H T P P R O D for the warehouse with availability group we are assigning. Okay, just we are mapping the two store locations. Let's save it. Okay. So once you have completed this configuration, now I will process the queue. So how to process the queue? Again, go to the particular, you know. Error. Okay, this is the error. That's when click one back button. Okay, don't double click. Just select. Go to edit. Yeah, click on reset status. Okay, and refresh it. Okay. So 
select the queue. So go to edit. Go to edit and click on a reset option. Then refresh. Okay. So this is the thing you have to do. Okay. Now I'm going to refresh it. Okay, so that particular error is gone. Now one more error comes. No storage bins one. Okay. So what is the second error? This is the error number one. So it's very good if you get the errors because you'll understand how system is behaving. What are the things you have missed? Okay. So this is the error number one. Now I'm going for error number two. So in real time, okay, in support project, this is the queues you are going to process. So like that, you'll get, get you know, inbound side queues, outbound side queues. So it's your duty on a daily basis. You have to check what are the stuck queues are there, what is the reason, what needs to be done, okay? So now we, are the, we have the configuration issue, but most probably master data related issue. Suppose your middle master is created, but not extender product master. Your main vendor master fields are not there or you know some handling unit you know, things are stacking or serial number things are not there in s4 side or the batches are mismatching from ewm to s4 so this could be the some of the reasons okay so the second error number two is no storage bins found this is the one no storage bins found Okay, so we created in HD 10, HD 20, HD 30, we have created the bins. But what is the bin system is referring to? We are going to unload into the staging area called 9010, right? So in that, we have to have the bin called GR zone, okay? So that bin we don't have. So create staging area 9010. So this is the staging area I told it right. So before unloading, uh, sir, after unloading, we are going to put it in a staging area. This is like in a 9010 storage type. In that storage type, we are going to have one GR zone is a bin, okay? So that is the one system is checking. So we don't have that. So that's the reason it is throwing the error, okay? create store staging area 9010 bin. So what is that bin name? GR dash zone. This is the bin I'm going to create. So in which transaction we are going to create the bins? What is the transaction? T code, what is the T code? To create the manual bin? That is 01. Very good. So slash and slash SCWM slash LS01. Okay, so GR dash zone. Okay, enter. So, what is the storage type 9010? And we have one section, it seems that is total section. Enter, save it. So, this bin is created. Now, let's go and in a process. So, what is the process to process this queue? Come back. Okay, select the line item, go to edit, go to reset status and refresh it. Okay, so now it is gone, it is processed. Nothing was selected showing means it is processed. Now I could able to see this particular delivery in the EWM side. So let me go to PRDA transaction. This is the PRDA transaction. Let me come back once again slash and slash scwm slash prda enter okay so just close this form view input your delivery number no execute 
Okay, now I got my delivery number over here in the EWM side. Okay, so the same thing we have done over here. So to process. So these are the steps. So like this, whenever you create inbound delivery, outbound delivery, if you could not able to find in the EWM set, immediately you have to go and check your queues in SMQ2, whether it got stuck or not. Okay, if it is stuck, what is the reason? What is the error? You have to do the analysis. Then you have to clear that queues so that it will be distributed to EWM. So I have shown you two errors, okay? Like that, you will get master data related errors also, okay? So, so this delivery got distributed to EWM. Now, if you see, we have an header details line item. We have the item details also. I have taken on one material, so that's the reason I have only one letter. Assume I have taken for three or four products, I'll get the three or four line items. So the header information, item information. Okay, so now if you go and check what is the header information is there, what is the item level information is there, okay? Click on form view. So this is the form view. So in the form view, this is the document number. This is the document type INB. This is the document category PDA. Okay. And this is the various number GR office. These are the size. Now my question is how system determine this document type INB? This is also an interview question. What is the what is the document type of what is the EWM document type of document type of inbound delivery? INB is a document type. So my question is, okay, how system determine this INB document type? So the second question is, how system determine INB? as document type. So how system determine the document type as INB. Yeah, there is a standard configuration is there. So because of that system determine the INB. So what is the configurations? Go to SPRO. Go to reference IMG. Go to SCM extended virus management. Extended virus management. Go to interfaces. Go to ERP integration. Go to general set, uh, delivery set processing. Okay. Map document types from ERP system to EWM. So here the one ERP document type is assigned to EWM document. So what is the ERP document which is assigned to INB? Let's see. So if you see here the document type of ERP said EL is assigned to INB. So here ERP document type. Document type you can say 
or delivery type also you can say that's no problem erb document type el is assigned to ewm document type inb so el so where we can find the el if you go to this delivery of s4 side okay so we have created this s4 inbound delivery in vl31n to display vl33n okay vl33n this time displaying inbound delivery in the s4 side okay input and enter go to header details go to administration okay if you see at the delivery type document type or delivery type is el so whenever in the s4 side system creates with the delivery type el that el is assigned to inb so with this system determine the document type for inb you got it assume in real time if they are using the standard el that's absolutely fine we will go with this configuration assume they have created z el okay y el like that they created then this assignments we have to see what is that assignment just now we have seen right the el is assigned to this one here assume they have created y el then y el should be assigned to inb that entry you have to create it so since we are using the standard one it's all already there in the system okay so this is absolutely fine so this is the question and this is the answer now okay this is in the header details header details so the document type inb we have seen next document category pdi what is the ewm document category for inbound delivery answer is pdi the next question is how system determine pdi item category because this inb is assigned with pdi okay so where we can see we can go and check here so sprvo reference img scm extended warehouse management extended warehouse management goods receipt process inbound delivery here go to define document types for inbound delivery process so here the inb is assigned to pdi go to the details inb is assigned to pdi this is the document category okay answer is configuration of document type and item types in ew okay this is the answer now so here so document category is completed document type whereas number is hd ew we already have this is the supply chain unit we already created and assigned to whereas goods receipt status is not yet started unloading not started put away not started. this is the status of the particular activities okay and uh, this is completely in a process mode if it is a block it will show as a red okay and what is the default warehouse door vehicle this information we haven't you know 
done any configuration. So that's the reason we got it as a blank. So the created is S20 WM1 and last changed by this particular user. So these are the header details. Tomorrow we'll see the item details. So tomorrow I'll explain the all item details. Then we'll go for the unloading goods receipt and put it as creation. Okay. Now what is the question? So I have configured the HP OG company code. Is it that's fine? Whatever that's what whatever you know. Uh, okay, same HP OG we you have created. I think I have created HT HT OG, right? So you want to go with HP OG different company so code. You are created on HP DA. Yeah. So I picked up HP Geo, so I'm not sure if it's fine. Okay. Like but but you can take your own uh, company code instead of taking already existing one. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Even if you take HP OG, OG also that's fine because not you are not disturbing uh, HP DA, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are we linking the inbound delivery type to EWM? Yeah, that is the inbound delivery type we have, right? EL that we have linked mm -hmm. to INB uh, in EWM side inbound delivery document type. Okay. What is the header? Info? Header means so header means like you know most you are going to get the inbound delivery uh, document type and you know status of this particular goods receipt unloading and put away. Item details means uh, how, how many products you are going to buy from this particular supplier and what is the quantity. Okay, so the header details means who is the supplier, who is the customer. Okay, that is header. Okay, even 10 items, the person, particular customer buy or 20 items, the customer will be customer. The supplier will be supplier, right? So that is the header details. The item details means how many products you are buying from this particular supplier, what is the quantity, so that details. Okay. Yeah, any other question? What is setting? Did you see the farm view? How does it control? So this is like, you know, here just you have to click mean this is in a row this information is showing i want to see in the vertical thing then you have to click on the form with that's it okay so if you click two times it will go as a line yeah so so fine sir. but but if you click over there no? so there are some drop down schemes right hq something like that so is there this any, one no no if you click over there no? then we got a drop down Okay, okay. drop down you're asking. Yeah. One is the display settings only. So this is the one like, you know, this is the SAP backend program. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I'm, we are not going to go into that technical. Okay. So just we okay. are going to click on the farm view mm -hmm. and we are going to see the normal. This is the normal view. And if you click, this is the farm view. Oh. Okay. So the same thing you can see, but you have to go like this. Okay. Right side. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, was the first time you go over there, then the drop down will come. Then you remove the entries, and then the system will show the form view. So I, that's why I just got confused. Like, uh, no, there is no confusion. confusion. This yeah. is the straight way, like this, it will show. If you want to mm -hmm. go in the form view, you have to click the this one. That's it. Okay. So if you want to go back, just click once again. That's it. Okay. 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 Thank you, guys. Tomorrow we'll meet at the same time. I'll discuss about the line item details. Okay, item level details. Then we'll go for the unloading goods receipt and put it as question. Okay, thank you.